<laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Oh shit. Ha ha ha. What's the fucking. What's the motherfucking deal? I'm gonna turn up something real quick. Uh, a little bit of brightness, because it's been dark than fuck. Oh, you know, we didn't do any black and white fucking. We didn't do the black and white filter on any of this shit. Alright, says we live, so we should be live. What's the fucking deal? It's your boy, Kiki Kushite, back up in this bitch for one more time on LA Noir. This is it. This is fucking it. Sorry, making sure the audio's working, but yeah, this is it. This is uh, episode 14, and this is the last case. Uh, I believe this case is called A Different Kind of War, and we lit, so we go get it, and uh, yeah, none of that bullshit. Let's just finish this shit. <clears throat> you dig? <sighs> not right. I'm ready to let this game go, but I'm not. It's the only game I've been doing good at this whole time. A Different Kind of War. Oh, shit. Let's fucking get it. It's gotta be one of these places. Oh man. Still all fucked up. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. We don't have to check all these boys, do we? Looks like it. Alright. Let's go. I don't want to drive to that shit. Ugh. Oh my god, damn. Yeah, I just got done recording episode 13, but I had to get some grub. Get some fucking grub. Good hamburger hash. If you don't know what that is, it's just meat and fucking potatoes. Literally it. Rapid exterminators, 2.36 p.m. Oh man. Oh shit. Help you? Yeah. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. He's just They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, damn, Kelso, you don't have to be such an asshole about it. Hey, look at this paper off rip. Oh, we gonna peep this. Let's fucking get it. Damn, is that Sheldon? What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, yeah. Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. This is when does a bag man work a cake? <laughs> <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Yo, Cole or Kel, so don't play. I don't play. I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective. Oh, shit. Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is <laughs> the time to be quiet, son. He Courtney said, Shelton I gotta see this was shit. A corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. Oh, he was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon is dead, and I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Bro, Stay Cole. with him until the coroner gets here. Make Cole. sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. No, Phelps. You're not the worst asshole going around. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time we've seen Cole in a newspaper. But, man. <laughs> Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Not this spot. Nuclear bug and rodent control. Let's fucking head over there. <sighs> what are we gonna play next? 
I wanted to finish this game before I really started another one. We're, like I said before, we're going to do an episodic series next. Uh, what should it be? Like I said, I was uh, going between Life is Strange and uh, Batman. I got both of them downloaded, so I don't know. Maybe Batman, because it's... I don't know, take a little break from like Like, we've already done... Every episodic game we've done so far is Life is Strange. The first Welcome two. Welcome to Nuclear. Uh, what can so, I do you for? I work for the DA. So I need we to might speak have with an exterminator. Big guy up. with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Alright. So That's of course, disgusting. It's the last fucking spot. So we just gonna get on, get on, and, uh... Get it. Already on the fucking hunt. <laughs> oh, they really need to make another one of these, though. Another L.A. Noir. But like I said, they should, like, er, like way early in the episode. Uh, let's, like, press control. 2.48 p.m. Like I was saying earlier in the playthrough, uh, they should do, like, a, you know, like a New York L uh, Noir and, like, a Detroit Noir and Chicago Noir. Like, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That would have been fire. I work for the D.A. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? <laughs> yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. <clears throat> Thanks. Excuse me. All right. So we're off. Oh, uh, I do remember how this ends. Man, goddamn. I, again, this is one of those games I kind of was confused. I don't know why. I just didn't follow the story all the way. Dr. Fontaine surgery yesterday, 6 p.m. Oh, we're back with these two real quick. But yeah, it, it confused that out of me. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. That's Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. But anyway, yeah, let's fucking get it. This was this whole. This was the uh, the spot where we were watching a bunch of those newspaper things where the with the doctor. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Speak to Curtis Sawyer. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Stephens. I don't know if I, I didn't know if I had to point them boys out. Is that still? Am I missing something here? I think I am missing something there. Hold on, let me. What's? Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Uh, I'll just sit there, tap it on shit. Let me see. Oh right, yeah, we should be good now. <coughs> Buster, Buster, fucking head. So much for your foresight, doctor. You don't even know. That's Elsa's blood. She got fucking smacked in the dome piece. Oh, the doctor. Damn. Ooh. All sorts of Destroyed stuff. by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Got fucking socked in the face and then just... <laughs> snapped his whole fucking neck. What you got here? Ill or I age. Creepy. That flame looked like garbage, though. <laughs> I think that's it for him. Oh, look, another newspaper. Shit, that's too uh, off rip right here. Fuck it, we gonna watch it. Damn it, less than ten minutes. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. You know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them, Leland. <laughs> we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, 
I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform him. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Hey, you got your a shot. Kelso works for Benz. Although I don't know if this was before he or reliable? after. No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. I uh am. -huh. Bring it, bitch. Either we already know what happens, or he thinks he's slick. Either way. So what else we got? Oh yeah, let's see. All that shit. <clears throat> what you got over here, Hirsch? Is that the morphine? Oh. <laughs> no, y'all saw that. Looks like Fontaine yeah. has finally dispensed his last treatment it's a lot of fucking morphine did you see that shit uh oh hello got footprints or anything no i just had to make sure all right what else we got he said whoa look at that reflection shit right there oh yeah What am I missing now? I'm missing something. Hold on. No. <laughs> huh. What am I missing? I'm assuming now I'm kind of far out this boy. Oh, I found another newspaper. I was about to say, God damn. Ah, uh, what am I missing? What about you? Asking for help. I'm at a loss. We need to find Elsa. There must be something that links the big guy to the shrink. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, that's... That's pretty fucking obvious, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do we have another location though? Wait. Oh wow. The doctor has been marking this map. Oh shit. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? Hey, they mentioned the freeway way early on when we first started on the traffic desk. So that has something to do with it as well. Crazy. There we go. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance. It's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? The doctor's dead. The roll nearly bled to death. 
If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Okie Cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Get him, get all of them. Let's fucking get them. Ugh, God. Fucking Ichabod, hair on my boat. Fuck him. He, he's a fluffy fuck. Fat, fluffy, puma-looking motherfucker. I didn't even see where we were. I didn't even read the location or the time. But it's late. Shit, they got the they got the flashback music pumping. Makes me kind of want to play Call of Duty World at War. Hey, low key, I'm gonna do those campaigns because those campaigns were fire. The uh, Modern Warfare 2 campaigns being remastered and it's gonna be released on or it was. And uh, guess nobody's home. Yeah, bust up in that boy. Um, and I uh, we're definitely gonna play it when it comes out on the uh, the one uh. On the 30th. Most guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. That's a whole ass flamethrower. So you already know that. What's the date, matter of fact? It's the 16th? <laughs> Another 15, four, well, 14 days. And, uh, we'll be playing that bitch. So, shit, yeah, we're probably gonna finish the other playthroughs. And maybe I'll do another Call of Duty. You never know. Probably be quick shit. Might not do that well on, this, on the channel, but I don't care. We're here to play fun games. Go on journeys. Uh, well, this is creepy. <laughs> Quite a flock you got here, kid. I don't know if that's a strange kid. obsession. The river, tunnels. river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Oh. What else we got around here? That's a shitter. Gee, this is creepy as fuck, dude. I could, I could not be staying up out here. And he's got the fucking moth coils. Mosquito coils. Whatever the fuck. I said moth coils. Shoosh. You know I'd be fucking shit up. Oh, what else you got, dog? I'll take more of a look around, but Tommy gun or Thompson. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> nope. I don't know why. I don't even pay attention. I was like, yeah, that's probably a piece of vital fucking. Evidence. What am I missing over here? What's this? What's it all about? Oh, we're losing the music. Maybe I got her to get to a specific spot. Oh no. We're back in the creepy shitter. Huh. Probably more up in here. Oh, wait a minute. These pictures. He was in the squad. I know those faces. Yeah, there's Jesus Cole. Christ, <laughs> I know every one of them. I'm sitting here pointing to Cole like, hey, there's Cole. Like, y'all can see me. Oh, my God, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. And we got more around here? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Peterson, I'm going to need some help. He's got dry blood all over his hands. And all the others. God damn, bro. It's all up. nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the Boy, clean up. tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. All right. <clears throat> We'll start at police station, 8.30 p.m. KGPL calling car 11K, 11 King, come in. 
Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, you see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K and I'll go three. What the hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect Amen. vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet fleet line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. We're all American. I'll need help to make it to the river. All right, we got to find that boy. <clears throat> That's Kelso's car. Shout out to the Dutch word. <clears throat> All right, get the fuck over here. I guess we're helping him, so we're gonna smack the car. He's not all that dangerous. He's really a good guy. Oh, he's oh. oh, shit. Jesus Christ! How many cops are these guys? Oh! I'm like, I'm like, all units, all units. We have a new suspect vehicle. It's shot number one. Five one six repeating shot one three five one six is the second suspect. Holy shit! Described as a green Hudson Commodore. License three Sam zero one zero two. Reported to be aiding suspect Jack Kelso. Use caution to continue pursuit. All units stand by for further. Unit suspect vehicle sighted heading northeast toward Third Street on the embankment between Third Court. Okay, we already fucked up this one. Oh, I thought we were going straight through him. Thank you, me, not the bad, but that's not what I'm doing. Oh, see, now we're going through him like that. I turned up the brightness, that's still coming through shit. I turn that up a little bit, my bad. I know we in the middle of an intense chase and all, but so you could never do this shit in black and white, you can't even see shit. Are we almost are we there yet? I still can't see shit, dude. Look at this shit. I can't even see where we're going. We're driving so slow. I got this good floor. I think we're breaking down. Oh. Who is this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. Well, now he's here to hell. cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover the spot here. I think that's his failsafe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are! Got it, got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new Broom Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a <laughs> difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? There is no offer, bit. Oh, shit. Oh, 
party game. Let's go. Keep on going, Jack. I pick up the strap, though. We'll take it a little slow. This motherfuckers ain't fucking around. There, right there. Oh, shit. You got a fucking a M1 Grand or whatever over here? I might have to pick that boy up. Christ, just missed. Oh, shit. Woo! He's trucking through the sludges of LA, that's... That's how it's Oh, damn, two shots right in the chest. Keep on going, Jack. Damn, damn, just all fucked, damn, you all fucked up. You're pretty brave for a dead man. Yeah. Damn, Ricky! Oh shit, behind us. I turn up sensitivity a little bit, it's just kinda low. Wait, what's all of this? Let me see though, I turn up. it won't matter anymore, but uh There we go. That says too. You should be way up. I love how I figured that out now. No wonder it's been so fucking sluggish and sticky. Jeez. Oh, that didn't really even help. That did not help at all. Some BARs over here. Might as well cop them, boys. There! Somebody tag that son of a bitch! How long do you think you can hold out? Come on, bitch. <laughs> All right, I feel you. <laughs> oh, they got it. Face. Yeah, bro, we might have to play some fucking cod after this. I was originally playing Modern Warfare 2019, but uh, I recorded some shit and I just I haven't been able to get back to it ever since we started doing this shit on Mixer, you know? I want to. Like, you're surrounded and your buddies are dead! This, this, this campaign was pretty fun. Cool that they came back with the campaign uh, for that shit. But I want to go play the old ones. I don't give a fuck. It's old as hell, no one probably cares to watch those games, they know how it goes, but... <clears throat> it's been a while since I've played it, and you know what? I can't reload him, I almost You want me? It. You got me. Light him up! Oh, where are you fucking... Almost out! Need a new weapon! Okay, yeah, should I go actually go pick up something? There! Somebody take that son of a bitch, will ya? Oh, that's the way down. You can walk out of here or go out in the box! Oh, you Your choice! Back to the pistol. Oh, I'm about to get killed. Didn't hit no one with them dude. Let's see if I can't put one between. Come on, bitch. Christ. Just missed. Yeah, I need another weapon. Oh, damn. Uh, my bad. Oh, oh, pick it up. Being goofy. 
Alright, I'll take one of these boys for show. Oh, look, another one of these. What the fuck do we have here? Oh. Man, goddamn! <laughs> yeah, we really gotta play World at War. Fuck it, and then we play Black Ops 1. And then, you know what I'm saying, go up the timeline, because there's World War 2, and then Black Ops 1 is like Cold War, Vietnam War type times. That'd be fun, I could fuck with that. What do y'all think about that? Fuck it. Regardless, we're doing Modern Warfare 2. The water's rising! So, This way, come over here. An inch to the left, and you would have had me, boys. Here we oh. 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 I didn't even toast them. Bro, he should be toasted. There we go. That's what I say. He should be toasted, son. Oh, we gotta move, bro. I don't know where to go. Carrying this heavy ass fucking thing. Oh, there you go, dude. I don't know, what should we play? I kind of want to play Call of Duty next, honestly. That could be short and fun. But I do want to play something a little newer. Now we're going to do a Telltale game. We're going to play... Oh, shit. Call of Duty. Maybe. A Telltale game and then, like, another game. Play some good games, though. I don't, I don't fucking know. We'll, uh, we'll have to figure it out. Oh, shit. No, no, not there, not there, not there. You're goofy, you're goofy. Bro, I'm just lit up. That was totally a cold sound. Right. Oh. Them? Really? This? Damn, that shit's fucked up. Damn, it's fucking going. Is this the way? <laughs> God damn. Are you okay, princess? I felt better. Damn, didn't I have my hat? I don't have my hat. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? <laughs> At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you alright? Get away from her! It's alright, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. Don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. Something like and that. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. <clears throat> Get her out of here. Vix will help. His ex is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now. For God's sake, Jack. What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Damn. Oh, one more. I think that's it for the actually doing shit. It's all just cutscenes from here. But you already know the deal. <coughs> what do we do, Lieutenant? 
Jesus, look at all the Stop kids! Stop the goddamn screaming! I need to think! Mm -hmm. And how do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. Ah! I'm out of morphine. Ah! Help! Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now! That's an order! Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. He just fucking shot him. I was confused as fuck first time I played so I was like, wait, what? What? 2.30 p.m. Chinchester <laughs> Chapel. I probably said that all wrong. But yeah, you already know the deal. Here. Of course, this guy's talking about you. Call Phelps. Call Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here, a war hero. Here, here. Who led his men up. with true valor, and through his personal bravery, achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused, who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. God! You belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who recognized never friend, the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple Please. from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think he knew that, Jack. The oh, fight man. that cost him his own life. Ah, oh, man. A good husband. A good father. And may I say, a good friend. God, you're so fucking scummy. Rusty should have been the one up there, <laughs> if not Herschel or Pukowski. Got down. That's it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you already know the fucking deal. <sighs> Took a fucking minute to do this one. It was like we're on episode fourteen. That's not too fucking bad. Yeah. Rest in peace, Cole. Great detective. And uh, damn, yeah, we were just on the journey with him now, you know. That's it. Ah. I was, sometimes I get those feelings sometimes when I uh, when I end a game. I, I slowly kind of invest myself in a character. Red Dead 2 does that way better because it's such a long fucking game. But, I, you know, I kind of got back invested into this again. 
It was good. So I I love this game. This game's fire. But yeah, can I, can I skip this though? No. Oh, I can't even do that. Well, you already know the deal. Uh, this shit might be loud as shit, but uh, you already know the deal. We uh we lit. I guess I'm just gonna end it here. So uh, follow the mixer in the dis in the description below to see the ish early, see ish you wouldn't usually see. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you want to see more of this ish new playthrough coming soon. We don't know what it's going to be. Might be some Call of Duty shit. I love those campaigns. And it's been a minute since I've played those. So maybe we do a Call of Duty World at War thing. Definitely episodic series coming very soon. And other random shit. I have a random game in mind actually. Uh, so you will see that soon. Shout out Rockstar. This game's lit. Wish there were more of them. And uh, yeah. Thanks for fucking coming. Ha ha ha.